Uh, we're assigning the official uh, document that, that um, uh, has the OC accepting the team as uh, the OC uh, Crusaders. And uh, it's an exciting day because we're, we're kicking off uh, sort of a, a new frontier, if you will. Uh, the guys have done a great job of putting this program together. The school has accepted it and, and approve of it. And so... Uh, you know, we're ready to go play some hockey, which is what we're we're all here for. I think it's a great uh, movement for athletics. It shows that with hard work and um, the right core and dedication, you can make things happen and get community involvement and um, make a difference for student athletes and students in general. Uh, we're going to be good. Actually, we just started camp on Friday. Uh, we've had a couple skates now, and uh, we're, everything is going as planned. Guys are looking really competitive. Um, and I think we'll definitely make some noise in the league this year. So, so you worked pretty hard on this. How long did it take you to get to this day? Oh, man, just countless hours of uh, yeah, different different duties and things that come up. Um, I don't know if I could put a number or an hour time limit on what we've all done, but uh, it's been many days and, and uh, yeah, a lot of experience. It's been great. It's an interesting model because it's not a model of the one that I'm familiar with from my university days where uh, the institution owned and operated the teams. Um, this is one that's kind of a self-financing model and uh, it gives our students a chance to play, continue to play competitively after they've finished out their hockey careers elsewhere or if they just happen to be students who love to play hockey and wouldn't have a chance to play otherwise. It'll be uh, a lot of fun to see how we fare against some of our uh, the institutions were rivals in other ways for us, and, and I suppose I'll have to make some bets at some point during the season, but I'm not willing to go there yet.